we had your husband, President Clinton, on this show, he said, I asked him about UFOs in Area 51, and, and if, he, if he looked in, because if I was president, that's the first thing I do. I go right into those files and right. see what was going on. Right. And he said that he did do that. Yes. And that he didn't find anything. Well, I'm oh. gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Uh, yeah, why not? Right? And, and you know, there's a new name. It's Unexplained Aerial Phenomenon. Unexplained Aerial Phenomenon, yep, really? Yep, UAP. That's the latest nomenclature. I so, like the old one. I like UFO. I don't know why. Well, it, I think we can use them interchangeably. But I would like us to go into those files and hopefully make as much of that public as possible. If there's nothing there, let's tell people there's nothing there. What if, if there something. is something there? Well, if there is something there, unless it's a you know, threat to national security, I think we ought to um, share it with the public. Well, what if everybody's all hopped up on medical marijuana and everybody gets paranoid? <laughs> I would love well, it. Well, that's why I want more research. <laughs> <laughs> if you share it with me, I'll decide what is the best course of action. I really have my ear to the ground. Well, you know, I'm more than happy to do that. We'll take a quick break. But when we come back, I hope you will indulge me in, in something because I want to ask you about your access to the files on the UFOs. Okay? <laughs> President Clinton is here with us. We'll be right back. Oh. President Bill Clinton is here with us. So if I was president, and I won't be, let's be honest. <laughs> the first thing I would do after putting my hand on, on that Bible and taking that oath to serve the country is, I, would, I wouldn't even probably finish the oath. I would run to the White House. I'd demand to see all the classified files on the UFOs. Because <laughs> I want to know. I'd want to know what has been going on. Did you do that? Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, we had... Uh... Sometime, I think it was at the beginning of my second term, we had the anniversary of Roswell. You waited that long? I did. Wow. Well, well I didn't. And then I, there's also Area 51. You remember there was a great sci-fi movie where there was an alien kept deep under the ground yeah. in Area 51? Well, first I had people go look at the records on Area 51 to make sure there was no alien down there. <laughs> and people thought that because everybody who works there has to stop about an hour away and put on special clothing and then drive in and out. And that's because a lot of our stealth technology is made there. We know that now. And, and, but there are no aliens there. So okay. then I, when the Roswell thing came up, I knew we'd get, you know, zillions of letters. So I had all the Roswell papers reviewed, everything. So I think, look, what do we know? We know now we live in an ever-expanding universe. We know that there are billions of stars and planets literally out there, and the universe is getting bigger. We know from our fancy telescopes that just in the last two years, more than 20 planets have been identified outside our solar system that seem to be far enough away from their suns and dense enough that they might be able to support some form of life. So it makes it increasingly less likely that we're alive, that they might be able to support some form of life. So it makes it increasingly less likely that we're alone. Oh, you're trying to give me a hint that there are aliens. <laughs> no, I'm trying to tell you I don't know. Oh, you're trying to give me a hint that there are aliens. <laughs> no, I'm trying to tell you I don't know. Oh. But if we were visited someday, I wouldn't be surprised. I just hope that uh, it's not like Independence Day. Yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe that it's, uh, you know, a, a conflict. Well, now we have friendly Maybe the only way to unite this incredibly divided world of ours. They're out there. We better think of how all the differences among people on Earth would seem small if we felt threatened by a space invader. That's the whole theory of independence. You're right. You're Everybody right. Everybody gets together and makes nice and, you know. This is something I feel like, if I was the president, and it's unlikely that that is ever going to happen. You never know. <laughs> if I was the president. It was unlikely that I was going to be president. <laughs> The moment I was inaugurated, my hand would, would just, it'd still be hot from touching the Bible, and I would <laughs> immediately race to um, wherever they hold, have the files uh, about Area 51 and the UFOs, <laughs> yeah. and I'd go through everything to find out what happened. Right. Did you do that? That's why you will not be president. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's the first thing that you would do.
Um, <laughs> the the aliens won't list. let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> you reveal all their secrets. <laughs> they, 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 they exercise strict control over us. Now, you know, there are a lot of people that are going to examine your, your facial expressions here, um, every, every twitch, everything, oh, no. and say, and of course, so did you look? Did you see? Did you explore? I, I, I can't reveal anything. Oh, really? Because President Clinton said he did go right in, and he did check, and there was nothing. Well, you know, that's, that's what we're instructed to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right.